Greetings, Boogie fans! Michael here, and almost three years ago, I made a video called the Top Pokemon of Every Type, where I went over my favorite Pokemon for each of the 18 different types. That video was very well received, but recently I realized that I never made the opposite of it. My favorite Pokemon of none of the types. I'm kidding, obviously. I mean my least favorite Pokemon of every type. So I figured, why not go ahead and do that now? This video will be my least favorite Pokemon of every single type. And this should be obvious, but just in case it isn't, if a Pokemon is dual typed, it will only count as the entry for one of the types. So don't forget to leave a like on the video and let's start off with my least favorite bug type Pokemon, Volbeat and Illumise. I know this is two Pokemon, but they are both here in the same entry because they are the exact same Pokemon. I love Generation 3. It was my first ever generation of Pokemon, so not only do I have a ton of nostalgia for it, but I also think it has a really solid cast of Pokemon. There are very few Hoenn Pokemon that I dislike. Volbeat and Illumise are two of those Pokemon because I have never really understood why they exist. They're based on Fireflies, but instead of getting a really cool bug electric type Pokemon with light-based electrical powers, we got a pair of gingerbread cookies wearing travel pillows. But not only do they look dumb, they are also just so incredibly uninteresting. They have no evolutions and are nothing more than a male-female pair that likely would have been just one Pokemon if they had been introduced in generation four or later. They are also extremely weak. Prior to Generation 7, they only had a measly base stat total of 400. They received a buff in Generation 7, boosting their total up to 430, but that is still garbage for a fully evolved Pokemon. They're in a similar situation to Pokemon like Farfetch'd. They don't evolve, aren't particularly interesting, and are not strong at all. However, tons of people talk about how they want to see Farfetch'd get an evolution, but nobody ever talks about wanting to see Volbeat and Illumise get an evolution because nobody cares about them. They are nothing more than two extra Pokemon species that you have to get to complete your Pokedex. Other than that, they are pretty dumb and honestly quite forgettable. My least favorite dark type is Alolan Persian. I adore the concept of regional variants. I think it's a fascinating and really creative way to introduce real world evolution into the Pokemon world because in the past, Pokemon has only featured Pokemon evolution, which is basically just metamorphosis. And while some Alola forms have ended up being some of my all-time favorite Pokemon, like Alolan Ninetales, there are some others that, well, stink booty. And one of them is Alolan Persian. Now, I understand why Alolan Persian has such a round face. It's inspired by round-faced cats that royalty would have back in the day, such as the British Shorthair but they took this way too far. It looks like Alolan Persian swallowed a watermelon and never got it all the way down to its stomach. It has a normal sleek body, but then an absurdly large head just tacked onto the front of it. If Alolan Persian existed in real life, I am confident that it would have to walk around on only its front legs because its head would be so heavy, it would lift its back legs up into the air. It's supposed to be this fearsome, intimidating, and cruel Pokemon but it looks so stupid and silly that no one takes it seriously. My least favorite dragon type is Mega Ampharos. I like regular Ampharos a lot. I think it's a cute, well-designed Pokemon that I have used in many playthrough teams and I think is pretty universally liked. And while I think it was a worthy candidate to receive a Mega Evolution, this thing is so dumb. All they did was take regular Ampharos and then put a lot of hair on it. And then suddenly that makes it a dragon? What? Now I know what you're thinking, so in an effort to not seem hypocritical, I also think it's silly that Alolan Exeggutor is a dragon type. However, I think Alolan Exeggutor's design premise of changing it to be a tall, more tropical palm tree is really creative and interesting, while Mega Ampharos's design premise is freaking stupid. My least favorite electric type is Zerkitry. What the hell is this thing? I have not been shy about the fact that I do not like most of the Ultra Beasts. I understand they are alien creatures from other worlds and therefore are supposed to look weird. But with the exception of Poipol and Naginatal, most Ultra Beasts look too weird. Like, they don't look like creatures anymore. They look like objects or like weird person bug 
Furries? Are they still furries if they're bugs? Zerkitry is my least favorite of all of them though, because it is literally just a bundle of wires with a spiky light bulb on top. The only aspect of it that looks like a creature is that it stands in a bipedal way with two legs and two arms. If this thing was unconscious laying on the ground, anyone would just mistake it for a large bundle of electrical equipment. Pokemon is short for pocket monsters. This is not a monster, it is an object. Yes, I know there are plenty of Pokemon that are inspired by objects, but those object Pokemon are given attributes to make them seem alive. Whereas Zerkatry is nothing more than a bundle of wires that can very stupidly form itself into the shape of a Christmas tree. Why would an alien organism do this? It's so stupid. My least favorite fairy type is Aromatisse. Aromatisse is a terrible blend of something ominous and disturbing and something sexy. Aromatisse's face is inspired by the masks of plague doctors, something that people pretty universally agree is an ominous image. But it's also inspired by can-can dancers, an activity that is usually considered to be a sexy thing due to, well, they're nice legs. Who in the hell thought it was a good idea to make a Plague Doctor can-can dancer Pokemon? That is such a disturbing combination made worse by the fact that it's not a person. It's a monster with the Plague Doctor mask as its freaking face and it's wearing mascara. Most of the fairy type Pokemon introduced in generation six are pretty underwhelming to me, but Aromatisse is definitely the worst one. My least favorite fighting type Pokemon is Crabominable. This thing is just straight up ugly. Just flat out, blatantly ugly. Its face looks extremely unwell, like it's being constantly tortured, and it has a stupid bowl cut haircut. Why does it have people hair? And really bad people hair at that. It is simply one of the most hideous Pokemon out there, and it's really disappointing that such an interesting design premise ended up being so unappealing. My least favorite fire type is Simiseer. I've said this many times, but I will say it again. The Unova region monkeys are bad Pokemon. The fact that there are three basically identical Pokemon with different colors is bad. The fact that they are all ugly is bad. The fact that the pre-evolutions are so cute, but fall so far from grace is bad. These three Pokemon are probably the most unpopular group of Pokemon out there, and they deserve to be. And to me, Simiseer is the worst of them. I find its facial expression to be deeply unsettling, and its weird gourd-shaped body isn't doing it any favors. I am also definitely not the only one who dislikes Simiseer. If you didn't know, back in 2016, they ran a Pokemon election in Japan, and Simiseer was voted the worst Pokemon of every single one that existed at the time. And that is an award that I believe it definitely deserves. My least favorite flying type is Landorus. I don't like the genies. I understand their interesting design origin, but that does not change the fact that they are the upper halves of buff men with weird facial hair sticking out of clouds. Those are simply not good designs for Pokemon. They might be fine in some other franchise where the enemies are more human-like, but these ones are just too weird. And to me, Landorus is the worst of the three. One of the reasons is that its hair is the dumbest. What, are you trying to be a hammerhead shark? No, dude, what are you doing? You and Crabominable, get in a car and drive to a barber shop immediately. Landorus is also my least favorite genie because of its Therian form. First off, just slapping Landorus's head on the body of a tiger is super weird and uncomfortable. And secondly, Landorus Therian was everywhere in VGC battles when I was into it back in the day. You pretty much had to have one on your team to have any success. Seeing it everywhere and losing to it many a time has made me really dislike this already stupid looking Pokemon. My least favorite ghost type is Hoopa. Hoopa and the Clash of Ages is one of the worst movies I have ever seen. There is no plot whatsoever and the English voice acting is bad and the cool action is definitely not cool enough to make up for those massive faults. But the worst part of that movie is Hoopa. It is childish, selfish, stupid, and annoying. It constantly speaks in the third person, but not in a charming way like Sergeant Jeffords. It just keeps saying stupid stuff like, Ale Hoopa Ring. If this movie never existed, I would probably be indifferent toward Hoopa. 
But since that hour and a half was just so extremely unenjoyable, it left a lasting impression on me that will make me dislike Hoopa for a long time. Also, I should note that while regular Hoopa is a ghost type, Hoopa Unbound is a dark type. I just wanted to include Hoopa on the ghost type entry because I remember hating the normal form more than the Unbound form, and also I really thought Alolan Persian needed to be in this video. My least favorite grass type is Quilladin. Now don't get me wrong, I definitely dislike Simisage because it's one of the Unova monkeys, but there's a story behind Quilladin that has made me dislike it more. When the Generation 6 starters were announced, the one I was most excited about was Chespin. Due to my strong attachment to Trico and Turtwig, I had a bit of a soft spot toward the grass starters. I thought Chespin was extremely cute, so I had high hopes for it getting a really cool evolution. Then the second stage starters were revealed, and my hopes were crushed. Quilladin looks so bad. It is fat and derpy and for some reason got a bad looking big nose, despite the fact that neither Chespin nor Chestnut have a large nose. That massive disappointment I felt when Quilladin was revealed left a lasting impression on me, and because of that, I have really disliked Quilladin ever since. My least favorite ground type is a Lolan Doug Trio. Remember how I was saying that I thought it was super stupid that the only design change from Ampharos to Mega Ampharos was adding hair to it? This is the same but worse. Mega Ampharos has some design changes other than just the hair being added. A Lolan Doug Trio does not. It turns a slightly darker shade of brown and gets the hair added to it. That's it. There are no other changes. It baffles me that they thought this design was acceptable. I understand it's supposed to be volcanic glass, but that does not matter here. They thought a logical adaptation of the species in a new environment was it just growing long golden locks. It blows my mind that they cleared this terrible design for inclusion in the series because I am not sure there is a Pokemon design that is dumber than this. My least favorite ice type Pokemon is Jinx. This one shouldn't be too hard to explain. Jinx is a flat out ugly Pokemon that is also very disturbing. It's got a creepy cartoon face that is surrounded by body features that are way too humanoid. That combination is really unsettling Plus it was the center of a racist controversy, which obviously doesn't do it any favors. I am confident that few people would be upset if they removed Jinx from the games, because I feel like almost everyone who claims to like Jinx is only doing it to make a joke. My least favorite normal type is Miltank. I won't spend much time on this entry since I'm confident most of you already know that Miltank is my least favorite Pokemon of all time of all of them. So I'll shorten this just to the two main reasons why I hate it so much. One, its nipples are hideous and gross. I do not need to see those massive things flopping around for the whole world to gawk at. And two, whether it was against Whitney, a trainer in the Battle Mason, or against the Aragardian, Miltank has pissed me off more times than I can count. My least favorite poison type is Amoongus. I simply don't think Amoongus needs to exist because all of the roles it fills were already filled by pre-existing Pokemon. We already had a high quality mushroom Pokemon in Breloom, and we already had a Pokeball fake out Pokemon in Voltorb and Electrode. And we of course had buttloads of grass poison types. The fact that Amoongus is just a much uglier ripoff of these other Pokemon makes me dislike it. And when I say uglier, I mean, it's hella ugly. Just look at that face. That is difficult to love. My least favorite psychic type is Mr. Mime. This is probably the most disturbing Pokemon out there. It is a distorted and deformed human jester with thin spindly arms and legs, curved feet, and big five-fingered hands. It looks like a serial killer. I know it's supposed to be this light-hearted, silly Pokemon that makes invisible walls to cause mischief, and while the detective Pikachu Mr. Mime did a great job at conveying that, all the Mr. Mime in the main series games look like they're staring through your bedroom window getting ready to kill you with a knife. Maybe I would dislike Mr. Mime less if it was a dark or a ghost type so its creepiness made more sense, but since it's a psychic fairy type, that's not helping it at all. I firmly believe Mr. Mime is the worst generation one Pokemon and I hope that my future interactions with it are limited. My least favorite rock type is Probopass. Maybe you've noticed a theme here. If a Pokemon has tacky human-like hair, I am probably not gonna like it. 
Probo Pass is no exception. Its mustache, no matter how you justify it with claims of it being metal filings, looks stupid. Speaking of looking stupid, the whole thing looks stupid. It being a compass Pokemon is an interesting design concept, but they made its massive nose its primary feature. That looks really dumb and really silly and not silly in a good way. I know this wouldn't happen because it's made of rock and metal, but even so, every time I see a Probopass, I'm worried I'm going to get covered in snot because giant noses are gross. For the most part, elephant noses are tasteful. My least favorite steel type Pokemon is Klefki. Remember how I said that most object Pokemon are fine because they look alive? Klefki is not one of those. While it does not look as lifeless as Zerkatry, it is mostly expressionless, only having two eyes and an unmoving keyhole for a mouth. Now, while there are other mostly expressionless Pokemon out there, they aren't key rings. That's what bothers me the most about Klefki. It's just a key ring. First off, I think that's a pretty silly object to base a Pokemon off of to begin with, but additionally, it's not changed enough from that original object. I think it would be more interesting if the key wielding Pokemon wore the key ring as a necklace or had it as a tail, but the whole thing being just a key ring with a face slapped onto it is just not good. And finally, my least favorite water type is Simapore. I don't have much to say about Simapore since it's one of the Unova monkeys and I already talked about why I don't like those. It's not as bad as Simaseer, but it's still really bad. But since that would make this entry disappointingly short, I'll discuss my runner-up least favorite water type Pokemon, Bruxish. Why is it my least favorite water type? Well, because it's ugly. No, oh, that, that didn't have as much time as I thought it would. So there we have it. Those were my worst Pokemon of every single type. Thank you so much for watching this video and just wanna let you guys know this is the last video I am filming in this house. Jubilee and I are doing a big move from Houston, Texas out to Los Angeles, California. We're really excited but it also means that if I'm a little bit less active on social media the next couple weeks, that is why. Also, if you wanna kill time by uh, watching some more of my videos, I recommend this one right here. All right, that's all I have for now. So till next time, big events. Gotta catch them all.